All right, JetFly15, this video is for you. You wanted to take a look at accessibility in iTunes on the Macintosh. iTunes is exactly the same on the Mac as it is on Windows. One of the things you need to be aware of is if you want to get a Mac, you'll have to reformat your iPod. Um, and if you want me to, I can go into detail about that on Messenger, or I can do a separate video. Um, incidentally, I know you also wanted me to do Safari. I'm going to have to butter up on that and uh, get back to you because I'm a little bit rusty on Safari. I haven't used it in years. And on top of that, I do not use VoiceOver on a regular basis. Okay, so we're in iTunes right now, and just to make sure of that, let's go ahead and Shift-Tab around until we find it. Or, excuse me, not Shift-Tab. Uh, this is my fifth or sixth. I've, I've lost counts as to how many times I've recorded this. Command tab. To the left of your space bar is your command key. Command tab. iTunes. There it is. iTunes. Window. iTunes. Play button. We're on the play button. This is not your default. Your default's going to be in the source list. As you know on Windows. Um, to get around um, iTunes on the Mac... You can use the voiceover cursor, and the beauty of the voiceover cursor is it can be on at all times. So, the command key that we use to access the command tab function. Again, like I said, that's directly to the left of the spacebar. Well, to the left of the command key is your option key, and beyond that is control. You want to go, um, you want to push control and option at the same time, and you can use your arrow keys to look around. Next button, Macarena, the Party Cats, 1203 AM mute button. Just some music I had. Um, I had that on pause. For some reason, it hops around. I have this on pause, and it announced what was in the display. In this case, it announced the song name and the artist. Um, I don't know why it does that. I wish it didn't. But anyway... We're on the mute button. 100% horizontal slider. Volume. Full volume button. Text list button. Grid button. Cover flow button. These buttons are the way to change the view. Search text field blank. Sources table. Now, like I said, it's the exact same thing as in Windows, but you notice the command differences. It's control option and the arrow keys to look around. Now, how do you get into your menus? There is no alt key on the Macintosh. Instead, it's voiceover M, which incidentally, um, your voiceover key is your control option. So you want to go voiceover, control option, M. Menu bar, Apple. Okay. iTunes. Um, let's go into iTunes here. The menu, I mean. iTunes, menu. About iTunes. Gives you the ability to check what version you have. iTunes hot tips. Hot tips. Preferences, ellipsis, command. Preferences. Um, I don't know how this is arranged in Windows, but this is basically your settings or your properties for iTunes. So that would be your preferences. Shop for iTunes products. Provide iTunes feedback. Check for updates. Ellipsis. Check for updates. You want to do this on a regular basis, but I will tell you that your Macintosh will automatically update your system every once a week. Um, it won't do it but completely by itself. What it will do is every time you're connected to the Internet, on a weekly basis at a set time. It will go in and it will check for updates. And if there are updates available for your system, you will be notified. Services submenu. Hide iTunes command. H. Uh, hide iTunes. That's basically like your minimize. Hide others command option. You know, hide H. everything else except iTunes. Show all dimmed. Quit iTunes command. Q about iTunes. And then quit iTunes command. Q. That little meme. The, I'll, I'll, I'll play that again. About to quit, about to quit, about to quit iTunes, command, Q. That sound, um... About iTunes. Top. Quit iTunes, command, Bottom of Q. menu. So let's about go iTunes. to navigate through the menu bars left and right, just like it is in Windows. File, me edit, me view, controls, menu. Controls. Now let's go through the controls here, because it'll give you a lot of the keyboard shortcuts that you might need. Play space. Space to play something. Next, command. Right arrow. Command right arrow to uh, go next. Previous command. Left arrow. Command left for previous. Next chapter. Dim command shift. 
right arrow. Command shift right arrow for next chapter. This um, software can accommodate DVDs if you were not aware of that. But take a look. I want you to notice the differences in the command structure though. Previous chapter dim command audio and subtitles submenu dimmed. Shuffle submenu. Repeat submenu. Some things you cannot do by direct commands, at least not that I'm aware of, but beware that I'm not a full-time voiceover user. Eject desk command E. Command E for eject. Play space. Now, um, once you get past the learning curve, a lot of people have said that this screen reader's um, voiceover's command system is actually a lot more logical than what Windows um, and the like have used. Store menu. Advanced menu. Now, how do you get out of menus? Well, you can go ahead and escape. Sources table. Incidentally, con voice over M is one way to get into the menus, but if you push control, um, I think it's control F2, let's see, here's F4, or, I'm sorry, maybe it was option. Hmm. That's strange. Well, earlier I was able to get into the menus through a secondary command. But for now, you'll just want to remember voice over M. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much it. If you want me to do voice, if you want me to do voice over itself, if you want me to do anything else, don't hesitate to ask. But I implore you to look at the Blind Cool Tech podcasts. Okay, you absolutely have to do that. Um, I am not a regular time. I'm not a full time voiceover user, and thus I would not be the best guy to ask um, to truly get an experience of voiceover. Go to blindcooltech.com, uh, search for Macintosh Accessibility. There are four podcasts on that. Um, and they go over things like uh, more than just iTunes. They go over email. They go over web browsing. They go over the whole shebang. And I seriously could not do that without a lot of work. And my semester starts on Tuesday, so I don't think I'll be able to do that. So please, please look into that, okay? I am not a full-time voiceover user, so I would not be the best person to ask. But uh, you did want to know how iTunes worked, so uh, there you go. And um, I know you wanted to look at Safari, but as I said, I do not use voiceover on a regular basis, and also I don't even use Safari. I use Firefox, and Firefox and voiceover, to the best of my knowledge, do not get along. Um... But again, like I said, I'm low vision. I am not. Um, I do not need to rely on a screen reader all the time, so I have actually not really used it as much. Um, anyway, there you go. Uh, sorry if I came off it as, as a bit me. I just wanted you to, wanted you to understand that I am not the best guy for voiceover training. I, I I really do think that the Blind Cool Tech podcast would be a much much better source. Also, MacVisionaries.com. Um, and also, um, I have a friend who is a regular voiceover user and knows this stuff like the back of their hand, so they can help. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to let, don't hesitate to ask me. Um, and uh, have a nice evening.